Hello, welcome to Busy Blake's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to, to do a, a spaghetti casserole recipe. It's gonna be delicious. I've had, you know, I, I, I got the recipe from a mother kind of, but I tweaked it and came up with my own style. So today I'll be showing you step-by-step -step instructions on how to get that tasty spaghetti casserole. Mmm, don't that look pretty? Tasty too. I got my pound and a half of ground beef, turkey sausage, chopped up onions, chopped bell peppers, mozzarella, and I'm using ragu sauce with thin spaghetti. It's gonna be delicious. First, I'm gonna saute my onions. Don't get every last thing in there. Don't want it to miss out of one single piece of taste. Then I want to also put some chopped up, very fine bell peppers. A couple of my kids like onions and bell peppers, but one of them don't. So if I cut it up real fine, the taste will just be like wine and they won't even recognize that it's onions and bell peppers in it once we get that ragu sauce that tomato paste that sauce and, mm, just, and I love the smell of these onions I just kind of want to saute them for a few minutes just to soften them up a bit before I add my butter ball turkey sausage Sprinkle a little bit of kosher salt, the thick coarse kosher salt. Kind of give some flavor to those onions and bell peppers. I also want to put some crushed bell, crushed black pepper in there. Mm. I love those crushed ground peppercorns and now I'm going to throw some turkey sausage on the top and let that sizzle a bit. Let me get every one of them in there. You can run, but you can't hide. You just let that sizzle and steam up. And, and it doesn't take long to get it going. But now I'm ready to put some ground beef, some lean ground beef, and cook that. And you want to... You want to cook this and get it brown and, and get it ready to drain. And I thawed this meat out for, for a little while. I probably could have thawed it out a little bit longer. But I'm going to put some seasoning in that ground meat and it's, it's just about where I need it to be. Look at that. Smell good, doesn't it? And now I want to drain off all the excess grease that I don't need. And it's hot. Steaming up my glasses. <laughs> but back on the into the skillet and now I'm pouring some of the the pasta sauce. And I'm gonna stir this up a bit. And I got the fire on low so it can simmer. And it's going, I'm going to let it simmer for a while while I got the water boiling for the spaghetti noodles. And I'll just kind of add seasoning to taste. But right now, I just want to stir it up and, and get it going. and That way, that sauce can thicken up and, and kind of blend together. It's going to be very tasty. But if you can hear the background ambience, that's my kids. Look at that. If you could smell this, you'd be ready to eat. But I'm going to cover that there get ready to start these noodles 
because I like to get everything going and, and try to be as efficient as possible. But I, I got some water boiling with, with a little olive oil so the noodles won't stick. Then I add some kosher salt to this pot. That way you don't have no noodles tasting like, like nothing when it's time to go in the casserole. So we're gonna, we're gonna bring that to a ball and get those noodles as soft as possible. Get them as soft as possible. And you wanna check back with your meat sauce. And it's doing just what I need it to do. Got that right. Now I wanna add a little bit of sugar. I like my meat sauce. Sweet and savory. You wanna get the right balance. You don't wanna put too much sugar. You don't wanna put too much salt. You gotta just be just right and it'll be some good eating, I tell you. But once I get that steered in real good, I'm gonna cover this thing back up. Check on my noodles, look like they ready. Good and soft. So I wanna drain those out. There goes my glasses. I can't see a thing. I just, I'm, right now I'm hoping I don't have noodles all on the side of this drainer. But I did pretty good, so. I'm gonna get those back into the pot. Get my casserole dish ready here shortly. Waiting on that meat sauce to get ready. Looking at my, my daughter in there in, the, in, the, in my office. Playing computer games, but that meat sauce looking good, man. I wish you could smell it. It's ready, it's bubbling up. Ready to go, so first thing I, I do is spread my spread the noodles in the bacon dish and kind of spread it out to where you get a, a the, your first layer and make it even throughout the pan. And once I get that spread out, I'm gonna go to my second layer, which is gonna be the meat sauce. And then I'll do a layer of American cheese. It, it won't be fully covered, but I'm gonna get this meat sauce on here now. And boy, it's smelling good. Steaming. I can't wait. But once I get this second layer on, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some American cheese on there. Spread it up a little bit for you, but. Now this is what I got from my mother. She used American cheese. I grew up on this stuff. But she put corn and, and, and I don't think she gets hers as sweet as I, I like mine, but it's good. And, and what you're looking at is gonna be delicious. But I'm going to go with another layer of spaghetti noodles. And I, I used a pack and a half of noodles and I still used them. Didn't, wasn't able to use all of them, so it worked out. Better to have too many than too little. So I want to put some mozzarella cheese on this layer. And it's gonna turn out great, man. I'm telling you, it's coming along good. I just say you can't After that mozzarella, different. I put another layer of meat sauce, and we're gonna top it off with some mozzarella. And once we get this spread out over this top layer, it'll be ready to go in that oven. And you wanna bake it in there for about 30 minutes on 350 degrees until that thing is just. It'll be calling you. You'll, you'll, you'll know it's ready Maybe we did only need that ready one to, pack. Ready to be taken out and ripped apart. 
Mm-hmm. But. As you can see, the aroma. The aroma, the aroma has drawn the kids to the kitchen. And now they're trying to rush me because they know what's coming. But they just gotta be patient. A good thing takes time. So we wanna leave it in there. First I'm gonna let that top brown by brawling it for a few minutes and then I'm going to cover it throw it in the oven and when I take it out mm -hmm. talking about cheesy with a lot of meat, spaghetti throw a little bit of that parmesan cheese on top and I'll tell you with some garlic bread mmm 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 well, here's my taste testers, and this is right out of the oven, so it, they didn't give this thing no time to to rest. Eat the sausage. <laughs> Look at that. Well, it turned out delicious as I thought it would. Wish you could try it, man. It's a great dish. Didn't take too long to, to prepare and, you know, just, just wanted to share this with you, man. But thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe for more entertaining videos. I'll holla at you.